When we talk about the work of Preble Street, no one is surprised to hear about the problems that shatter the lives of the people we serve. But it may be surprising to learn that Maine is home to victims of human trafficking, a crime often happening in unexpected places. They are children and adults of all genders who are forced by sexual, physical, and psychological coercion or violence to do all kinds of work, including sex work, restaurant and hospitality work, farm labor, and domestic service. In the past 10 years, working with survivors across the state, we have seen too many people suffering from this horrific exploitation. Welcome to the Preble Street Healing Center. This vibrant, light-filled environment will offer comprehensive services and activities and a chance for survivors of human trafficking to find safety, freedom, and the opportunity to reclaim their lives. When we envisioned the Healing Center and first stood in this wonderful, large, empty space, we knew that healing would be possible here. Inside these walls, the Healing Center will offer a range of services, activities including yoga, art, and writing trauma therapy, connection to medical services, mental health counseling and substance use treatment, shelter and housing referrals, advocacy through the criminal justice system, and much more. At the center is the Wildflower Room, a small, tranquil space designed with soft, rounded walls. We know that true healing must begin within, and this space represents the core of every person who comes to the Healing Center, full of beauty and peace. Whether people come in to sit and rest, cry, converse, think or dream, they know they will be safe and secure. Deb had no control over where she lived and worked or whom she was able to contact while her trafficker took all the money she earned. She was forced to work in a restaurant from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. with no breaks in order to pay off a debt. Tony was coerced into sex work by a trafficker who used substances to recruit and control him, threatening to withhold opioids and cause Tony to become violently ill from withdrawal if he didn't do the work. Ashani was coerced into working as a domestic servant. She was never paid, had no access to her passport, and was never allowed out of the house. Mora's eyes were so black and swollen after escaping from her trafficker that she could barely see. Through Preble Street Anti-Trafficking Services and partner organizations, Mora found support and services including housing, health care, education, and employment. Because it can be challenging to understand the laws and systems of a new country, immigrants can be especially vulnerable. Even those who have not experienced trafficking in the United States may have been trafficked in their home country, in a refugee camp, or during migration. Whether asylum seekers or refugees, immigrants may not know their rights as workers or where to turn for help, or may not seek help due to fear of prosecution, deportation, threats to their families back home, or fear of losing their ability to work in the United States. Human trafficking is an injustice that robs people of their freedom and independence. And like homelessness, hunger, and poverty, the experience can severely impact the physical and mental well-being of survivors. Here in this space, professional caseworkers will provide comprehensive services and empowerment. Here in this space, survivors will find comfort, safety, and dignity. Here in this space, healing will be possible.